All right, so I have some good news, and unfortunately I have some bad news. The good news is that we are living through one of the biggest cultural shifts in history with the mass adoption of NFTs and digital asset ownership in a decentralized world, and man, it is exciting to be a part of. But the bad news is that scammers and bad actors and just nefarious folks are really excited to be a part of it too. So you need to be very careful with your assets. The downside of having a decentralized world like this is that there's no uh, security guards in the blockchain. There's no loss prevention or customer service in the blockchain. If somebody tricks you into entering your seed phrase and they steal all your stuff, it's gone. So you need to be very careful, you need to know what to look out for, and just, you know, common sense. If it's too good to be true, it's probably too good to be true. But there is some good news here. It's all up to you. Um, if you don't screw up and click the wrong link or give the wrong person your MetaMask phrase or, you know, you can control your own personal security on the blockchain. I'd also recommend getting a hardware wallet so you can keep your NFT assets in cold storage but that'll come up in a video later on in the series. A couple of common scams to keep in mind. If you ever tweet the word MetaMask, the replies are just gonna be full of people phishing. Uh, don't ever click on like a Google document link or basically don't trust anyone. If you tweet about MetaMask and you need help, all the replies are gonna be scams trying to steal your stuff. If you use Discord, you're gonna start getting a ton of Discord messages with giveaways and just all kinds of stuff that is maybe not 100% scams, but it's like 99% scam. So just don't click on anything in a Discord message if it's not from someone that you are absolutely sure that you know. And also people like to impersonate other people in Discord, so don't even click on a message if it's from someone you think you know, because it might not be from that person. Uh, Discord messages are worthless, <laughs> frankly. <laughs> That's not true, they're not worthless, but you're better off just disabling them. So you can go into the settings of Discord and just turn off Discord messages. You're not gonna miss anything. People can send you messages on Twitter or somewhere else. 